Hey kids, welcome to Unit 3, Lesson 7, Polymorphism, Exercise Number 3. We have yet another important vocabulary lesson. Let's see what we have to define. We have polymorphism. We've been talking about that. That means out of one, there is many. That's overriding methods. Compile time. While we haven't talked about this, you've seen this. This is how long it takes for the program to be compiled to run. Sometimes that's a little longer than we expect with code.org, but that's okay. Run time. That's how long the program takes to run. Think of that as our turtle and rabbit speed we have down there and our old friend immutable, which means cannot be changed. Let's see if we can match some definitions up to these terms. The time when the program executes. So executes is when it runs. So that's a run time. The time when the program is compiled. Well, that sounds like how long it takes to compile a program. An object whose state cannot be modified after it is created. That sounds like it's immutable. The ability of an object to perform an action in different ways. From one, there is many. That is polymorphism. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Hey! Hopefully, this video helps you understand some of the vocabulary we've been using. As always, if you have any questions, uh, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you there, kids. Bye. Bye.